one of our chickens died. And bummed. Which is a little bit surprising for me that I'm bummed. Not that I don't want any of our chickens to pass, but we, we've lost chickens to raccoons and we've lost chickens to uh, sickness, illness. This seems to be an illness situation. Um, but she was a good chicken, you know, she didn't, she always gave good eggs and the thing that bummed me out the most is like watching my, my daughter cry about losing one of her chickens that she spends time with. Um, I've been facing, been faced last few months more than I think I ever have in my life with, with death. And it's interesting because uh, you know, having faith in, in Jesus and, and the everlasting life that is in, in Christ, you know, I'm just glad that that doesn't cause me to lose any kind of respect or emotion for how precious life is and, and the fact that it does end here on earth. Because um, I feel like if you thought about it practically, that maybe that mindset or that worldview would, would make you think that, oh, it's, it doesn't matter because, you know, life is everlasting in, in Christ. And yet that's not the response at all. Uh, I, I was very surprised that, that you know, this chicken has been passed away now for probably the last couple hours, but it was obvious this morning that she wasn't gonna make it through the day based on how she was breathing and not hardly moving, hardly opening her eyes. And just, um, it was obvious that she was on her way out. Um, my dog, Hilo, golden retrievers are incredible. This guy laid by her basically like all day long, just kind of just stayed by her side and just sat with her. And then also, once she passed, apparently, he dug this hole to put her in, but didn't just do that, you know, didn't harm her, harm her at all or do anything, just like he, he actually dug her, her grave, which is amazing. And um, a good dog, good boy. But as I was saying, I, I was a little bit surprised at how emotional I felt this morning. You know, obviously not, because of seeing my daughter sad is, is a big factor, but I also just get kind of used to losing, especially animal life, you know, raising snakes and working with all these different animals. You know, we've lost, lost a tegu, we've lost, um, you know, different, different animals over the years, stillborn babies and eggs and, and stuff like that. And, I just don't want to ever get calloused to how precious life is. And this morning was kind of a reminder that I'm, that I'm not. So it was, that, it's good in that sense, but also sad. Leia, you know, our, she's five. And she had a teacher, or a gym, gym instructor, pass away recently who was not, I don't know the details of what happened, but she um, wasn't, wasn't old. She was pretty young. And so Leia has kind of been struggling a bit with death and it's hard to know the right move as a father in how to help her with that and She's five. Uh, but I do think that having these animals is helping her at least see the reality of it, which hopefully helps and hopefully will help. Um, I just don't want her to be sad, you know, or worried like she has been for you know, kind of off and off, kind of regularly for the last 
couple months or so and just start crying because she's worried about dying. Um, I know these, this guy, that's going to be a rough one when, as, as we all know, dogs don't last that long compared to us, just naturally with age. Um, so I know this one will be a good teacher, hopefully. Uh, one of the things I was reading, I was doing all kinds of reading about how to help kids with facing death and, and the thought of it and just how to deal with it. And this lady that seemed to know a lot and had a lot of experience with working with kids on that very subject, one of her tips was, you know, get, get them a pet, get them an animal. And because uh, you're going to lose them at some point. And so I guess I'm glad for that. But... I guess it it does give you perspective and makes you remember again how precious life is, which actually I, I meant, meant to talk about this more towards the beginning, but if you're still watching, um, there was a viewer of ours who left a comment on a recent video about having lost his wife to cancer and that his kids were kind of having a tough time with it. Um, I understand he's a disabled vet. Um, and his, uh, they got to go fund me to help out with expenses, you know, in, in dealing with his wife's passing. So the, there's a link in the description for that GoFundMe. Um, if you are in a position to help with that, then I have no doubt that he and his family and, and kids would greatly appreciate that. So, you know, no pressure. But if you are available, if you are capable or have the resources, then that link's down there below. So. It's kind of a different day around here, but I just wanted to share with you guys because, um, well, that's what's happening today. So, in the nature of a vlog, you just kind of share with what's happening. <laughs> so, it's not the most up uplifting video, but uh, if you're watching this, then maybe just take a moment and be grateful that you are. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of other take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.